hero of the rails. It was summer on Sodor. The sky was bright blue. The fields were full of flowers, and the birds sang sweetly. As Thomas filled up with water, he felt very happy. Suddenly, there was a whoosh and a whoosh and a clackety clack as a streak of silver roared by on the track. Fizzling fireboxes! What was that? All over Sodor, Thomas's friends were buffeted and blasted on their tracks. Bubbling boilers! Bust my buffers! Watch my paintwork! Crumbling tracks! Who was that? Gosh! Slow down, Speedy! Rail Raider! Later, Thomas and his friends were at Knapford. They were very puzzled. He was big. He was silver. He was very, very fast. That must mean it's... Spencer! Hello, Sodor! What do you know? I'm here for the summer. Why? I have a very important job to do. The Duke and Duchess of Boxford are having a new summer house built. It has to be finished in time for the Duke and Duchess's holiday. I'm very busy, no time to chat. And Spencer seems smugly away. Cinders and ashes. Having Speedy Spencer on Sodor for one day is bad. But for the whole summer is terrible. That afternoon, Thomas and Percy were huffing and puffing up Gordon's Hill. Then they heard Spencer whooshing and whooshing behind them. A little more puff and you might make it to the top by tea time. Bossy boiler! Next, Spencer caught up with Gordon. Get out of my way, slowpoke! Oh, the indignity. Toby was huffing slowly to a junction. Spencer steamed alongside, hooting and tooting. It looks like you're too old now to be really useful, Toby. Toby gasped. He was upset. He missed his green light. Edward and James were chuffing cheerfully along. Spencer slowed. Dear, oh dear, it takes two old engines to pull one freight car, does it? I'm pulling five. And Spencer thundered away. James was so cross, he couldn't puff at all. That night, the engines could only talk about Spencer. He told Toby he was too old. He's taken over my express line. He'll never have a shiny coat like mine. He'll never have manners. Spencer's scary. <laughs> <laughs>